enlighten ourselves about the extension of the topic of verbs of incomplete predication. Now let's understand that we use objects or we use complements. But the complement may belong to the subject or the complement may belong to the object. So now I just wanted to clarify a little further as to how we use words that apply to the subject and these are known as subjective complement. Okay, look at this example. He is a doctor. We have already done this example but I wanted to clarify one more point with you. Now he is a doctor. This is an incomplete verb, is. Doctor is the complement. But you are talking to that person who is a doctor. So here it belongs to the subject. He doctor. Noun. But the word complement belongs to the pronoun he, that person. So here it is a subjective complement. Tom became rich. The complement is rich. It's an adjective. The word rich belongs to the subject Tom. Rich Tom. So here it is a subjective complement. A complement that belongs to the subject. Sachin looks ill. The word ill belongs to Sachin. Ill, Sachin who is ill, ill Sachin. So here the complement is a subjective complement. Okay? Aditya seems tired. Again, the word tired is a complement. They are adjectives. But it belongs to the subject Aditya. Which Aditya? The one who is tired. Which Sachin? The one who is ill. Which Tom? The Tom who is rich. Okay? So these words, rich, ill, tired, doctor, all these tell you about the subject. So therefore, they are called subjective complements. They are complements that complete the sense of the verb. They are complements that belong to the verbs of incomplete predication, but they are talking about the subject. So therefore, they are called the subjective complement. Comprehended? Now let's go to the next one. They made him king. Here you have an indirect object. Made who him? Made what king? Here you are talking about that him. Which him? That person who becomes the king. So this word king is a noun. But it belongs to the object. Indirect though. Object. Okay. So this is an objective complement. Satish painted the house. Which house? The house that was painted. Okay. So, painted house. So, this is an objective complement. We got the tap repaired. Which tap? The one that was repaired. Okay. So, here repaired is an objective complement that belongs to the object tap. She found the baby sleeping. Which baby? The one who was sleeping. So, it belongs to the object baby. So in these sentences made, painted, got, found are incomplete verbs. We have used the words king, house, repaired, sleeping. All these belong to the objects. Is it clear to all of you all? So this is called objective complement. Okay. Now you have, you have to remember this. You have verbs like give, ask, offer, promise. Okay. Tell, take. All these verbs, they need two objects. You have an indirect object and you have a direct object. And one more point to be made note of or clearly remembered. Come, go, fall, die, sleep, lie, cannot be used intransitively. Sorry, cannot be used transitively. I repeat again, come, go, 
fall, die, sleep, lie cannot be used transitively. Is this clear to you? We have discussed about the subjective complement. The complement belongs to the subject. And objective complement, the complement belongs to the object. Okay, let's go on further. The man killed himself. Now here I have an object. Himself is a pronoun. It is a reflexive pronoun. So some verbs use reflexive pronouns as complements. The guests made themselves merry. So themselves is a reflexive pronoun. So here the incomplete verb made needs a reflexive pronoun. Made themselves. Please keep yourselves quiet. Yourself is a reflexive pronoun. It is necessary as a complement to complete the incomplete verb keep. The bubble burst itself. Itself is a reflexive pronoun. So it talks about the bubble which burst itself. So killed, made, keep and burst. All these are verbs of incomplete predication and they have used the reflexive pronouns himself, themselves, itself, so these yourselves. So all these are reflexive pronouns that complete the complement as a complement of the incomplete verb of predication. So verbs can be used reflexively also. So remember we have understood transitive verbs, intransitive verbs and verbs of incomplete predication. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.